दिस इज योर क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स यूनिफॉर्म रॉड ऑफ मास एम एंड लेंथ एल इज पाइवोटेड एट वन एंड सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू मेक द डायग्राम फर्स्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू द प्रॉब्लम क्वेश्चन इज दिस इज योर जेड एक्सिस एंड दिस इज एक्स एक्सिस द पोजिशन और सिचुएशन ऑफ द यूनिफॉर्म रॉड क्वेश्चन से इज यूनिफॉर्म रॉड सो देर इज नो कन्फ्यूजन अबाउट द पोजिशन ऑफ सेंटर ऑफ मास ऑफ द रॉड सो वी विल टेक द पोजिशन ऑफ सेंटर ऑफ मास इज देयर सो वी कैन कंक्लूड दैट the weight of the rod will act like this mg but what will be the need the angular acceleration the angular acceleration of the rod when it make an angle theta with the vertical is this is another important point this is an angle theta so we can take this is 90 minus theta so this is quite simple because we want to calculate angular acceleration so that will make very easy if i go for the torque we know that torque is equal to i alpha and i want to calculate torque about this point so first we will make a line and that is called line of action right because for the calculation of torque we want only two things one of them acting force on the body or object or system another one perpendicular distance you know if this is the line of action then this particular line if i denote by p q r then p q is the perpendicular distance and you know this is l by 2 because total length of the rod is l so position of the center of mass is here so we can write easily the length of pr is l by 2 so if i use some trigonometry so we can write here cos 90 minus theta is equal to base that is pq on hypotenuse that is pr but i want pq because pq is my perpendicular distance and pr is equal to l by 2 so we can write l by 2 sin theta this is the value of perpendicular distance so now if i use this relation so torque is equal to force weight into perpendicular distance that is l by 2 sin theta now in this stage we want moment of inertia of the rod and that is you know 1 by 3 ml square into alpha so if i go for the calculation mass mass will cancel out so after small calculation on solving you will get 3 times of g by 2 l sin theta so now my option is 1 now we are going to take question number 7 and this is very interesting this question based on variation in small g when we move up or down we had two formula for such type of question if i go inside of earth so we can write universal gravitational constant mass of earth upon r cube radius of earth into d d is the position of object or observer if i go outside of the earth that is g by d square right so by these two equation you could see if i go inside of earth then variation in small g is directly proportional to d but if i go the up of the earth then variation in small g is inversely proportional to d square right so if i go for the question for the situation here you could see this is g proportional d 
and the remaining part of the graph g inversely proportional to d square so we can write here option number 4 is correct now we are going to move question number 8 a copper ball of mass 10 gram is at a temperature T is dropped in a copper calorimeter of mass 100 gram filled with 170 gram of water at room temperature the temperature of the system is found to be 75 degree centigrade the given data are room temperature 30 degree centigrade a specific heat is 0.1 calorie per gram degree centigrade question want to find the value of temperature t so if i use a simple logic by the principle of calorimetry we all know loss of heat is equal to gain of heat but in this question the source of heat copper wall so heat released by the copper wall but gain by the water as well as calorimetry so we can use this equation directly first i want to mass of cal ball that is 100 into a specific heat of copper here you could see 0 0.1 into now the temperature of copper wall is t that's why i am writing t minus but question says the temperature of the system is found to be you know so we can write here 75 right and that will equal to heat gained by calorie meter as well as water so first i am going to write for calorie meter mass is 100 and a specific heat of calorie meter is 0.1 and the change in temperature because according to the problem from 75 up to 30 but in the case of water the amount or mass of water is 170 a specific heat of water is 1 and 75 minus 30 according to the problem so this is very simple question according to the principle of calorimetry you keep in mind the loss of heat is equal to gain of heat we need only two things copper wall will release the heat and water will gain the heat so on solving you will get 885 degree centigrade that's why my option is 2 will be correct now we are going to move question number 9 an external pressure P is applied on a cube at 0 degree centigrade look at the temperature initial condition is given 0 degree centigrade if I make a cube I am going to make a diagram yeah, understanding water karega suppose this is a cube at 0 degree centigrade right but question says equally compressed from all sides k is the bulk modulus of the material of the cube and alpha as its coefficient of linear expansion we know the gamma is equal to three times of alpha where gamma coefficient of volume expansion and alpha is coefficient of linear expansion now if i go for next part of the question suppose we want to bring the cube to original size by heating the temperature should raised by because question says i am going to heat then cube is going to expand so if i go for the solution of this question so we can use directly very easy and very simple calculation we know that the bulk modulus is given by normal stress and volumetric strain am i right so if i want to calculate volumetric strain that is equal to p on k and minus sign will indicate volume goes on decreasing according to the concept of coefficient of volume expansion we know that this is equal to three times of alpha into delta t because gamma into delta t and as i said value of gamma is equal to three times of alpha so there is no hesitation we can write here 
थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ एल्फा इन टू डेल्टा टी दैट इज इक्वल टू पी बाई के बट क्वेश्चन डिमांड्स एंड आई वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट ओनली एंड ओनली डेल्टा टी सो दैट इज पी के इन टू थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ एल्फा दैट्स वाई माई ऑप्शन वन इज करेक्ट राइट सो नाउ we are going to take our question number 10 okay first i am going to read the question look at carefully cp and cb are specific heats so look at carefully this is specific heats at constant pressure and constant volume respectively it is observed that that is cp minus cb a for hydrogen gas Cp minus Cb B for nitrogen gas. The correct relation between A and B is. So now, if I go to write a relation between, suppose S is equal to C into M, where S is molar heat capacity and C is its specific heat, but according to the problem cp minus cb that is equal to a for hydrogen so if i convert the value of cp by using this important relation so we can write s at constant pressure and molecular weight of hydrogen minus at constant volume molecular weight of hydrogen that is equal to a right now similarly if i want to find relation between sp minus sv that is equal to a times of molecular weight of hydrogen this is my equation number 1 okay now we know that sp minus sv is equal to r if this is my equation number 2 right so if i compare equation 1 and 2 we can write here a times of molecular weight of hydrogen that is equal to r this is my equation number 3 similarly we can use this equation for nitrogen according to the problem we can replace a by b into molecular weight of nitrogen that will equal to r so this is my equation number 4 so if i compare equation 3 and 4 we can write a times of molecular weight of hydrogen and b times of molecular weight of nitrogen so if i go for ratio between a and b that is molecular weight of nitrogen that is 28 molecular weight of hydrogen that is 2 so you will get 14 so relation between a and b is 14 times of v right so my option number third will be correct okay so now we are going to take question number 11 